you know why you have to clap. So the sound and the video matches? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you want to start by just like telling me all about you and Collective and how that started? Yeah, so my name is Kelsey Davis, mm -hmm. uh, senior at Syracuse University, um, studying television, radio, and film, and innovation design and startups. Okay. Yeah, so Collective started a few years ago, um, just like really as a production company, and we basically realized that there's a huge gap when it comes to creatives who are looking to do work for brands, okay. um, and then brands who are actually trying to get on college campuses and like get this young Gen Z audience to actually be part of their audience. Um, and so really, Collective turned into uh, basically a organization that's a creative agency that develops collegiate creatives and then plays places them with brands mm -hmm. um, nationwide and so right now we're just in the process of releasing our beta platform launch oh it's awesome yeah so uh creators will have the capability to go onto our website create an account publish their own content follow other creatives mm -hmm. um, and really just like be able to empower themselves uh through collective which is really our vision and our goal so did you always think you were going to be an entrepreneur or was that something like that i don't know maybe you know, who like thinks they're gonna be yeah. like well, I never thought that yeah. like I'd be in the space that I'm in. Well, I tell people all the time, like I think saying that you're an entrepreneur is like saying you're a rapper, right? Mm -hmm. Or like you're like, yeah, I'm a basketball player. It's like what does that really True. what does that really mean, right? I think for me, like being a black female, like yeah. just like, growing up in society, I think naturally, like there are a lot of entrepreneurial things that come in the mode of survival, right? That you have to just kind of always think about creating new opportunities, people saying no, and you have to just kind of figure yeah. out a way to get around that. Um, I think I identify that personally as entrepreneurship, um, even though we understand it in like an intellectual business mm -hmm. sense. No, no, I think um, it can mean like so many different things. Yeah, That's what's really cool yeah. About so it I think too. I've always been an entrepreneur, um, kind of in heart. If mm -hmm. you know. no, yeah. no, that's cute. Now yeah. you're like actually <laughs> killing it. Like Trying. I feel like you just like came in the launch pad one day and just like destroyed. <laughs> yeah, I was like, who are these people? Like? <laughs> uh, I don't know, something like that. Yeah, I oh, just yeah. I don't know. For me, the the concept of the launch pad was so abnormal. Like it just mm -hmm. it wasn't a natural thought in my head. Like I can just go to this place and people are gonna help me and. I won't be judged and yeah. I can just like really be myself and really bring ideas forward. Some of them may be great, some of them suck, but they develop and they, they iterate those things. And, um, you know, I always believe in, I think in order to really grow, you have to have a safe space to fail and mm -hmm. you have to have a safe space to fall. Like no matter what it is, business, relationships, work, whatever, like if you cannot create in a space knowing I may fail, but it's mm -hmm. still safe here, um, then you know you're never actually going to reach like the highest capacity that you can. So I think the launch pad is great because it's a space you can fail in. How do you then like bring your personality into those kind of settings, right? Just across the board, I generally don't like existing in spaces that I can't authentically be yeah. myself. Um, and the reason for that really is just because like if if I have to change and iterate based on where I am, then like that's something that's gonna always have to be a thing. I am very like I wear Birkenstocks, I wear hoodies every day, yeah. and I'm very chill, right? And so I think also just knowing that like, hey, like this is our space. Yeah. You know, like not kind of feeling like the outcast, not really feeling like, you know, the oddball out, but knowing like, hey, like, yeah, we belong here. Mm -hmm. Um, feel like it, it is a space that understands the value of diversity in regards to bringing ideas forward and like moving change, impact, initiatives, goals forward. Um, is the like diversity of thoughts, ideas, but also mm -hmm. of people, identities, interests, personalities. Um, I think is super, super mm -hmm. important. I think that if I'm able to take whatever vision ideas it is that I have in my head, accomplish those, but then also pass that legacy down, um, then I think I've made a successful mark. Mm -hmm. All right, cool, we did it. All right. <laughs> awesome, thank you.